All right, we are back out at night. It's a little bit cooler out. We're gonna go ahead and do some test hits. See exactly how the car acts. Put some gas in the car as well. Jesus. Just filled up with gas too, just as a precaution. But God damn, like I remember literally still riding the clutch a little bit i gotta stop that i remember when i first got to texas it's gonna be six months ago on the 15th when i first got to texas gas was like three something like mid threes maybe even low threes now gas is almost five bucks man like what i don't even think gas is this expensive when i was living in illinois which is crazy to think POV vid. I do apologize. Maybe I can throw on a light. sketchy but my fourth gear just pulls Jesus I got a that got a little sketchy right there I'm not gonna lie literally felt the car spin a little bit <laughs> from a 45 nervous like ringing it out like I know like I have so much more RPM but like it's still in my mind shift that 62 <laughs> just bear with me y'all bear with me
real sketchy. like a 50 roll and like it was just like the road was fucking bouncy bro like i had i was getting no fucking traction that road's actually really bad it pulls hard and it's a lot more like linear now like it just you can ride out the boost a lot better you guys did enjoy those clips that was the first time that i actually you know got on the car with this new setup now i wasn't ringing it all the way i'm still kind of easing into everything just so i understand how the car is going to react because sometimes it spins sometimes it doesn't so i kind of want to you know prepare myself for all scenarios before i really start to just go crazy on the car now again I don't know how much horsepower this car is making. I don't know how much boost this car is putting out right now. The butt dyno is saying that it's literally making around the same as it did before. It's just the power is now shifted and it's distributed like more broadly and equally over the band because now that we're on the 355 gears as opposed to the 410 gears. I will say this, the car definitely drives a lot better and it feels a lot smoother now if you guys are on the fence of what gears you should get with your new edge mustang gt if you are boosted because if you're na this is not really going to matter because i had the 14 gears when i was na and it was perfectly fine boosted honestly the tallest gear that i go with would be a 373 100 percent if you just want to drive the car have a good time be able to go on the highway and just overall just enjoy the feel of the car in general i think 355s or 373s are going to be the way to go 110 percent now the temperature outside when i was doing those pulls was about 60 degrees it's now kind of getting down to like 40s and in the 50s so that's where i'm really going to feel like the full potential of the car Again, I don't know how much boost it's making. Part of me, you know, the, the foolish part of me wants to go ahead and throw that 287 pulley back on the car with the, three, with the 355 gears and let it rip with the new intercooler setup. I kind of want to do that. Um, I don't know if it's probably a smart idea because I don't have a boost gauge. I have no, no idea how much boost the car is putting out right now. But if you guys live in the Houston area, because honestly, I've never changed the supercharger pulley before because the car was going to get dyno tuned before it had like that electrical issue with the gauge or whatnot. So I was just going to go and have, you know, my guy go ahead and swap everything. But if you guys live in the Houston area and are, you know, willing to come by me, swap my pulley, you know, I got some money for you. Um this would be pretty badass i think the car would really really roll out because it'd make even more boost than it did before even though it's kind of sketch but i still kind of want to do it just to see you know how it is until i get the car retuned on you know the 3-1 pulley but i don't know i don't know let me know down in the comment section right now if so y'all still watching this video if i should do that man again if y'all live in the houston area y'all want to be part of this you know bang my line hit me up on instagram Link in the description. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Ears POV. 
And uh, yeah, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.